Recent attacks on Los Angeles street vendors has inspired a man to step in and help, and that includes arming vendors with pepper spray, tasers, and personal security. NBC4's John Caddy's Climax shows us why. It's just sad. It's sad what's going on, you know. When Eden Enamorado saw this surveillance video of a fruit vendor in Long Beach being attacked by two men in January, he felt compelled to do something. I've had over 40 this weekend. He showed us his stash of pepper spray bottles. These are the last ones I have for today. I have to go restock. What started as a charity to help protect street vendors by teaching them how to protect themselves turned into a mission to stop the violence against the often vulnerable business. Our goal is not just to give them this, but also contract security guards to randomly, you know, drive by and protect these, these street vendors so we can stop uh, this whole madness going on. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, perfect. They're very grateful. You know, a lot of them have experiences of being attacked or being robbed. And especially the folks who have been providing security, they feel safer now, you know. Telemundo 52 reporter Raymond Mesa spoke with that Long Beach victim in January, just one of many who had similar stories to share. This man was beaten so badly in July in Marina del Rey that he was nearly unrecognizable. It's those heartbreaking stories that Eden says pushes him to do something. I want to send a message out there to anyone thinking about attacking a vendor that they're no longer alone and they will have armed security with them. So it's I would want them to think, think twice. If, they, if they're thinking twice now, that would, uh, to me, it would be an accomplishment. A GoFundMe account is how he's hoping to continue his mission using those funds to pay for the protection he says street vendors across California need. From Cudahy, John Kelly's Klimak, NBC4 News.